It's the highlight of awards season and one of the most watched programs of the year, the Academy Awards. The Oscars have a little something for everyone. Fashionistas are ready to critique the suits and gowns. Critics are ready to go to bat for their favorite films. And of course, you and your friends will be hosting the best Oscar party this side of Hollywood. So practice your perfect surprised face and meet me at the after party because this is the Academy Awards, the best parts. And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Movie fans from all over the world tune into the Oscars every year to see who the industry judges as the best of the best. And over the decades, some big winners have made it to the record books. First win and 21st nomination for Kevin O'Connell. Damien Chazelle, 32 years old, he's the youngest in history to ever win Best Director. Lord of the Rings Return of the King took home 11 Oscars out of 11 nominations. Total sweep. And we can't forget about Halle Berry's moving speech or that time a very young Anna Paquin charmed our socks off. But the Oscars didn't begin with an audience of millions. The first Academy Awards was held as a private dinner function in 1929 to celebrate and honor achievements in the movie industry. Unlike the mega ceremonies of today, the first Academy Awards had only a couple hundred attendees. You had to buy tickets and the whole ceremony ran for a whopping 15 minutes. We're clocking in around three plus hours of Oscar extravaganza these days, but the length of the ceremony isn't the only thing that's changed since then. There's no way we're doing this in less than 20 seconds. <laughs> the first movie to win Outstanding Picture was a silent film called Wings. There was also a separate category for Best Unique and Artistic Picture that went to the movie Sunrise. Maybe they should split those two categories again. And in the decades since, technical aspects of the film industry like sound, set design, and special effects have evolved like crazy. Talkies, musicals, technicolor, smell -o vision Celebrating so many facets of filmmaking, not just acting and directing, is a great way to highlight important behind-the-scenes people, like costume designers, and of course, the indispensable amazingly talented and downright beautiful writers. A writer wrote that. After all, the Academy Awards have writers too. Jimmy Kimmel can't do it all by himself. I can't do that. And while some years the jokes are great. I'm an Australian who played an Australian in a movie called Australia. <laughs> Others, well, yeah, you can't win them all. It's been a great year for lesbians. Kids are all right. Lesbians. Black Swan. Dancing lesbians. Toy Story 3. Where's the dad? And hey, it's not my girl Anne's fault. Of course professional comedians and TV show hosts do better with live material. Shout out to both Chris Rock and Ellen DeGeneres, two of my favorite comics and Oscar hosts. But most importantly, it's the live aspect of the show that makes it so exciting. No matter how many times you rehearse, you can't anticipate everything. Please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeen. But don't worry, if you make mistakes, Twitter's peanut gallery is ready to turn it into the perfect gif. Maybe Jennifer needs to wear a different kind of skirt. But hey, you can never anticipate what the red carpet fashion will be like. There are the gorgeous, iconic looks we'll never forget, like Lupita Nyong'o in 2017, Halle Berry in 2002, and of course, York swan dress. To be honest, I think Celine Dion's backwards suit deserves a little more respect. Love it or hate it, that's pretty daring Oscar fashion. It never hurts to know who designed some of these classic Academy Awards looks. Hey, who are you wearing? I'm wearing John Gale. Tom Ford. Louis Vuitton. Ellie Saab. After all, Oscar trivia is a pretty deep well, and there are so many fascinating facts to learn. Did you guys know there have been up to 10 Best Picture nominees every year since 2010? Before that, only five movies were nominated each year. So while the field has opened up, competition has gotten a lot tougher. But the five picture rule was only instituted after the 1943 awards, when Casablanca beat out nine other nominees. And it would be 67 years before another film would do this. And the first movie to win when the 10 movie rule was reinstated? The Hurt Locker. Which was directed by Catherine Bigelow, the first woman to win Best Director. See, you will never run out of cool Oscar facts. It was a history-making moment when Bigelow accepted her award. Speeches from the winners are another aspect of the awards that leaves us on the edge of our seat. Sometimes they're moving. We are the only profession that celebrates what it means to live a life. Sometimes they're silly, and sometimes the winner takes an opportunity to make a statement. I'm representing Marlon Brando this evening, but he re very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award. And the reasons for this being are the treatment of American Indians today by the film industry. But what makes the Academy Awards truly special and one of the most beloved institutions in American pop culture is that the real fun starts after the night is over. Because the next day is when the arguments begin. The only thing 
nothing better than the excitement of watching live is heading to work or school the next day to hash it out with your friends. A little friendly debate over which movie or actor deserved the Oscar. Watching and thinking about movies is great, but talking about them with your fellow film fans is so fun, energizing, educational. You know what? It deserves an award. And the Oscar goes to... I wish we could give a statue to all of our favorite Oscar moments, but I think I hear the band playing me off. So, what Academy Awards moments do you remember best? Jump down to the comments to let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be here every week sharing our favorite stuff and the best parts. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.